What up, Shredder? The other day we got home from snowboarding and walked into the house and there was a mysterious package from China. We started to open it up and it was a box full of the Insta One and it was a box full of the Insta360 One X2 and pretty much every accessory you can think of. It took me two takes to get that name because, to be quite honest, I don't think they picked the best name. But they sent us an awesome camera to try it out and give you guys our honest opinion. Now I said before we can't be bought, but we love to try out new equipment and see if it makes sense. And we're only going to recommend it if we use it ourselves and we think it's awesome. So today we're going to dive in to the Insta360 ONE X2, what the specs are, and also compare that to our other 360 camera, the GoPro Max. So if you want to get a 360 camera, if you're wondering, is it worth it? Should I be shooting with that or something like a GoPro 10? You're going to want to stick around. If you want to get that Insta360 ONE X2, there's a link in the description. Same price for you, but you get a free selfie stick just by clicking that link and you help out the channel. we wanted to try out a new camera is because our GoPros love them or hate them I love them but they keep turning off in the cold and we're not sure if that's the battery or the camera or what we just ordered some new enduro GoPro batteries you can check those out in the description as of right now they keep shutting off and that's a big problem you go bro <laughs> put that on YouTube I'd watch that Okay, so the first thing's first. Why shoot with a 360 camera when you could just shoot with the GoPro 10? Both of these cameras will shoot as action cams, although the specs aren't quite as good. So let's run through those specs real quick. The Insta360 ONE X2 right now, we're shooting 1440p at 30 frames per second. So this camera also shoots at 25 frames per second, 50 frames per second, and according to the internet, 100 frames per second at 3K. You might notice that's a little odd. Usually on a US camera, we're gonna be shooting in 30, 60, and 120. So I think that's a European standard, that 50 and 100 frames per second. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. Now the GoPro Max, also gonna shoot in 1440p at 30 frames per second. So right now the footage that you're watching is directly comparable. But one thing about the GoPro Max, as far as I can understand, it only shoots in 4.3 at 1440p. So you're not gonna be able to shoot in 69. Whereas on the Insta360 ONE X2, you are gonna be able to shoot in 69. All right, so if you're evaluating which camera to get, there are four main things that I wanna look at. Uh, number one is audio, not super important. You can always do, shoot audio with something else. And a lot of people don't even care about audio and action cams. We're gonna compare how they shoot as an action cam. We're gonna compare how they shoot in 360. And we also wanna look at the apps that they come with. And that's because you can't take 360 footage and just publish it. You actually have to work on it in post. Then you have to decide where to point that in post. So you gotta figure out, do I want it to focus on me as a rider? What's in front of me or what's inside of me? And that's one of the cool things about shooting a 360 is you can capture everything around you. But before you can actually publish that to your bros on Instagram or your audience on YouTube, you have to pick where do you want that camera to point. So it's important that we have a good app that can do that for us. And GoPro and Insta360 both have their own app. So we'll take a look at that. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> So number one, we're gonna take a look at audio. Now, one of these cameras has six mics and one has four. They're both shooting spatial audio so that when you're in 360, it sounds like you're in 360. That's pretty cool because it's like we're living in the future. Oh my God. <laughs> so right now, as we're shooting this, you can hear the audio from the GoPro Max. It sounds like this. I like your gloves. Thank you. <laughs> and you can also hear that the audio from the Insta360 ONE X2 sounds like this. I like your gloves. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty comparable, right? So we'll move on to number two. Consideration number two is how they shoot as action cams. So we're gonna put the footage side by side right here. And you can see there is a little bit of a color difference between these cameras. Again, they're both shooting in the same specs. And it also kind of decides what form factor you like when you're actually holding the camera. Because these are two very different shapes and you get kind of a different weight and feel from them. When you do put that Insta360 ONE X2 on the end of a stick, it's a little top heavy just because of how high it comes up off the stick. Now, if you're shooting a 360, you're not gonna notice that because it'll just stick straight out. But again, when we're just shooting as an action cam, you can feel that top heaviness and it almost feels like you wanna flip that stick over. So you can see the Insta360 ONE X2 right here. It has this long, tall form factor. It's a little bit skinnier than the GoPro Max. And the screen is quite different. As you can see, uh, we have a circle screen, whereas the GoPro Max has this big rectangular screen. This screen is 
a bit small and hard to see. I know in the older model, it was really hard to see and they actually improved it. Uh, but to me, just because I'm used to using a GoPro, the screen is so big and I know how to navigate it. Took a little bit of a learning curve here to navigate this. Not a huge deal, but it is a it is a smaller screen than the GoPro. Yeah, I wish it wasn't circle. Yeah, circle is not the most functional shape for a screen. <laughs> There's kind of a reason all of our screens are rectangle and they just decided, you know, let's just make this thing a circle. And then one last thing with something you should be aware of is this actually mounts just on a single screw at the bottom. Whereas the GoPro has these fold down mounts. So you're just gonna wanna make sure you have this mounting piece here. Don't head out to the mountain without it or else you're gonna realize that you can't mount it like the GoPro. The next thing we wanna look at is how do these shoot in 360? So the stats shooting in 360 are almost identical. We're shooting at 5.6 and 5.7K at 60 and 50 frames per second. Now, the Insta360 One X2 can also shoot at 100 frames per second in 3K. So pretty comparable stats, not a huge difference. You can take a look at the footage yourself here. There's a slight difference that you can notice. Um, they feel a little bit different on the end of a stick, as I've said. You can also put these on your helmets. I think the Insta360 One X2 kind of is the same form factor as a stick with how long and slender it is. So it kind of feels more natural to just hold it straight out. Whereas maybe the GoPro Max feels a little bit more natural on top of your helmet because it doesn't stick up quite as much but both of these are gonna create pretty awesome 360 footage. If you're thinking, how, who's filming this guy? How is this footage happening? It's because of the invisible selfie stick. The person is shooting themselves with a selfie stick, but the software that we're gonna use is gonna cut that stick out. And that's gonna make it look like a drone is in front or behind of the rider, or that somebody's actually following along when you're actually shooting yourself. So if you love to make videos, but you don't always have somebody to film you, this is a great way to get footage that honestly looks pretty cool, especially if you're just riding POW or the mountain. It's a little harder to shoot park this way, but I know even Snowboard Pro Camp, one of the most popular YouTubers, he'll go out and he'll shoot box tricks with a selfie cam like this. So it's an awesome way to get a footage of yourself, shooting 360, a little extra work in post, which brings us to consideration number four, the app that the camera comes with. What up Shredder, we interrupt this video for a quick announcement. We want you to come work with us at Shred School. If you're passionate about snowboarding and you want to learn, you want to progress, and you want to ride with us, we're looking for a video editor. Shred School is hiring a video editor. That means you have experience with editing, you love shredding, it's a passion for you. Most important, you know the terrain park, you know what the tricks are called, and if we're teaching a certain trick, you're going to understand what we're talking about and be able to show the right thing in the video. It's a lot of work and a lot of time, but if this is your passion, it is all worth it. If you're looking for part-time or full-time work, click the link in the description below and apply to be an editor with Shred School. Back to your video. Both of these cameras are going to come with their own proprietary app. You're going to have the app either on your phone or your desktop, and same goes with the Insta360. Now the big difference here is the GoPro, you actually have to transfer the footage from your camera to your computer or your phone before you can edit it in that app. Whereas the Insta360 One X2, you can just connect directly to the camera from your phone, but you don't have to wait for those big files to transfer over. That means you can start editing that footage right away. And according to most users, the Insta360 actually has better software that is more updated, it has a couple more features, and it has some automation like auto tracking that's a little more advanced than the GoPro software. It's gonna make it really easy to just click on you as the snowboarder and say track this person the whole shot and it's automatically gonna center that shot on yourself. Now, if you wanna go in there and you wanna switch it to your buddy who's riding in front of you instead of just capturing yourself the whole time, you can use a keyframe and you can actually have the camera turn so that it switches to your body and switches back to you. That's the cool thing about 360. It's like you're directing your own movie after you got the shot. So you can go out there, you can hold the stick wherever you want, you're gonna get everything around you and then you become the director in post. Now it does take extra time, like I mentioned, so it's a little bit of a pain if you're trying to move really quick. If I don't need 360 footage for anything, I actually prefer just to shoot with a regular action cam just to save myself time in post. But if I wanna make sure I get everything around me, I'm on an awesome power run, all my buddies are slashing all around me and I don't wanna miss a single shot, I can shoot in 360 and know that I got all of that. It also looks really cool as a helmet cam because you can capture whatever viewpoint you want when you're throwing down in the park, hitting those jumps, rails, whatever, you can pan all around you. You can pick which angle do I want of myself with this front side board side or hitting these jumps. One last very minor consideration, not big for us snowboarders, but if you're a surfer, it might matter. The Insta360 One X2 is rated up to about 10 meters underwater. So it's about 30 feet for us Americans. And the GoPro Max is about half of that. 
So if you're gonna be spending a lot of time underwater, scuba diving, things like that, you might wanna consider it. Otherwise, not a big deal. So that's it. You can see for yourself in this video, the direct comparison between the two cameras. The stats are pretty comparable. Again, I think you should probably base your decision on the form factor. If you're gonna be taking still photos because the Insta360 does have superior still photo technology, and then also the post-production software, which one you prefer but you're really not gonna go wrong with either one. They're both great cameras. We're gonna keep shooting with both of them, especially, you know, if the GoPro keeps dying, it did turn off one time during shooting this voiceover right now and the Insta360 did not. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> send it. People are sending it out here. <laughs> We're living in the future right now. We're all blessed to be shooting with these 360 cameras. Go out there, get the footy, let us know in the comments, which one are you gonna get? And don't forget, if you want to get the Insta360 One X2, there's a link in the description. Same price for you, but you get a free selfie stick just by clicking that link and you help out the channel. That's all for today. Peace out, Shredder.